One of the things that we thought we would do for our loyal customers after 15 years is we thought we'd bring you behind the scenes and show you how some of your favorite dishes are made in the kitchen. We thought if we showed you a little bit on what goes into the magic, you might love that. Mike, our chef, is going to show you some, some of the preparations that he does every single night. And we really just wanted to make sure our customers knew how much we appreciate them. This is the, uh, the Napa cabbage leaves that I used to wrap the, the cabbage wrap sea bass. Um, this is all steamed. We steam the cabbage in order to soften it so that when we wrap the bass, it, can, it bends without breaking. So you want to cook it just enough that it's soft, but obviously not too much that it's overcooked. So once the cabbage has reached the desired level of cookedness, you want to make sure to get it out of, this, out of the steamer, but not only that, you want to get it in ice water so as it stops cooking. If not, it will con continue to cook due to the residual heat of the steam. In about five minutes, this cabbage will be cool enough that I can uh, take it out, dry it off, and then start wrapping the sea bass. For this dish, we're going to be seasoning it with the togarashi spice, uh, fre uh, fi fresh ground sea salt, these are Thai basil leaves, and then this is a compound butter of Fresno chilies, lemongrass, ginger, Thai basil, and many other uh, Thai spice ingredients. The nice thing about this preparation is that bec because it is wrapped in cabbage, it doesn't, you can use multiple smaller pieces to create one portion, and it doesn't have to be one, one large complete filet in order to complete the order. So when you're wrapping the sea bass, you want to make sure to trim off the bottom of the cabbage leaves where it's too thick and won't fold properly. Place the cabbage or the sea bass on the cabbage and gently but tightly roll it so that it is completely encased in your steamed Napa cabbage. So after you have the, cab the, the sea bass wrapped in the cabbage and it's nice and tight and dry, I'm going to put it in the steamer for this thickness of a portion to cook to medium rare takes eight minutes. So now that eight minutes has passed, so I'm going to take this, the cabbage wrap sea bass out of the steamer so that the cooking can stop. You want to make sure to let it rest for at least 30, 40 seconds so that some of the juices and the temperatures can start to equalize. And then you can go ahead and slice it and present it. Starting with a nice large uh, deep dish bowl, you want to place some of the, uh, some of the sauteed shiitake mushrooms in the bottom. And then you want to gently, using the sharpness of the blade, slice the, the cabbage wrap sea bass so as not to tear the meat, but just to open it very nicely. It should be cooked to a nice mid-rare to medium. And that way, when you present it in the bowl, one face down, the other one face up, it will have a nice, clean presentation. You're going to take a little bit of your shiitake mushroom broth and place and sauce that around the sea bass just to be a nice accompaniment to your steamed fish. So here I have some thinly shaved green onions which I will lightly place on top as a nice garnish. And some black sesame seeds just to accent the dish.